Do you get on with Liam and Noel, Paul? Um, yeah, it's great. They're 300 miles away and I'm in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all right. I mean, we work for the same company, so we see each other now and again. Yes. Social gatherings. But, but I notice, on the other hand, you say that instant self-worth is what I get from going to my brother's gigs. What, what do you mean by that? Um, I mean, you go, it's a lot of hassle to get actually in the gig because there's so many people there around him yeah. now that the people at the start sort of get the other way, you know what I mean? You have to find yourself, like, begging for a ticket. So I was just... This year, I went away on holiday and didn't bother going to Nebworth. I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't be doing it. Mm. Peggy, uh, tell me about all the family living in Manchester. How many of them are there around you? <laughs> uh, I've got uh, four sisters and two brothers and another brother that lives down near Birmingham. And how did all those end up living in the I don't know. There was nine of us in Manchester at one time. At one time? Nine, yeah. And you, you all left Charlestown to head for there? We all you? left Charlestown, yeah. yeah. And, and before you were married, what, what sort of jobs did you have, Peggy? Uh, just um, housekeeping, looking after other people's kids. Mm. You know, spend years looking after them, just cleaning them. And, and did you live in with these people? I lived in with them, yeah. Mm. There was nothing else for us to do. I went straight from school to, you know, working... Working. Houses, yes. Yeah. And, and did you go straight from school to working from Charlestown to Manchester? Did you go to England straight away? I went to England when I was 18. Yes. Um, that's when I went to Manchester. Yeah. Because there was nothing for you in There was England. nothing else. Mm. Plus the fact there was too many, the rest, there was too many at home, so we had to uh, move. A, 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 big, a big crowd. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and where do you come in the family? I'm the fourth one. Mm. The two eldest are two boys, and the two youngest, and then there's yes. seven girls in between. Yes. And, and have you any idea where this musical talent came from in these lands? Uh, I think it comes from my mum's side, because uh, she had brothers um, that are always into Irish music. Yeah. You know, the fiddle and the accordion. And so there was music in the house, uh, in her house? Well, in her house, yeah. In her house. And she had brothers living in Manchester, and I've seen them play accordions yes. and flutes. Yes, and, and was there music in your house when you were growing up then, with your mother? Only the radio, because we didn't, uh, there was nothing else. Nobody else made music in the, in the family? No, I had sisters that done Irish dancing. Yes, that um, kind of thing. You yeah. know, but yeah. I had one brother that was into the guitar and when he was younger, but he's never followed you up. Yes, and, and you yeah. don't play any instrument no, or, I don't, or, or no. sing songs or anything no. like that. There's a call there, Brian. Is it line three? OK. Uh, hello, line three. Hello. Hello. Um, I was just wondering, how does um, their mother feel about the way they're portrayed in the press? Uh, what, how does her, their mother feel about what? The way they're portrayed in the, way, the press. The way they're portrayed in the press. How yeah. do you feel about that, Peggy? No, I don't like the way they're portrayed in the press because, uh, I mean, I know that, mm. you know, granted, Liam is a bit... Uh, what? <laughs> a bit fiery at fiery, times. Yes. But um, I think the press blow it out of all proportion. Yes. You know. And and do you reckon that Noel is the steadying influence? Noel on the is a different character than Ling. Mm. Noel is quite and yes. you know, he's a different character. They're yes. both different. Yes. But then well, it wouldn't do if two of them were the same. Well, uh, no, no, especially if they were both like Liam, I there suppose wouldn't, it wouldn't do. No. Indeed, but uh, well, the night he was on the Late Late Show, he was lovely and pleasant and mannerly and delightful he and is, he's, charming. He's, yeah, and, he's quite now. You know, and he yeah. sang us two songs and he did a lovely interview yeah, for me. And yeah. he, was, he was terrific. I, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Absolutely. And after a very hard gig in the point as well. Is that, Paul, do you resent the fact that these, this pair, your brothers, are, one gets a Rolls Royce and the other fellow gets a... It doesn't really matter. None of them can drive, so what's the point? <laughs> 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 Liam can drive, can but he drive hasn't. because he passed me one day on the road and just went, waved to me, and uh, this was before he became famous. Yes. I was coming back from the chip shop one night. Yeah. And Liam passed me on the way. Yes. In, in, in pour, whose... Pouring rain it was, yeah. and then he just went, so I got to the house, and I said, have you just been in a car? Yeah. Did you just pass me? And he went, yeah. And whose car was he in? In his mate's car. Driving it? Yeah, but he didn't think I'd seen him. I see. And, and, and he didn't do a driving test or anything He like didn't that. do no driving test, I see. No. And Noel can't drive a car? No. So what did he do with the Rolls Royce? Well, he's got a chauffeur, Simon. Oh, Simon. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry for asking. He's got a chauffeur, chauffeur's sh around. I should have known. A chauffeur. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? You... I've been in it, yeah. Yeah, have you? I was just yeah. about to ask, yes. Yeah. How often? Uh, well, when I was in London there um, yeah. a couple of months ago, uh, Simon was left to show for myself and my sister around the place. Yeah. Show us the sights of London. I bet you enjoyed that. I did, yeah. Wonderful. Enjoyed getting in and out to the roads. <laughs> Wonderful. And and um, have you been to many of the gigs? Quite a few of them, yeah. Have you? Yeah. Um, and what, what do you think of them? <laughs> uh, I've been to the, the Cork one, was brilliant. Mm. Yeah, I thought it was one of the best. 
Mm. You know, a couple of weeks ago. You don't think they're too loud for you, Peggy? Oh you? no, no. 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 <laughs> well, now that you're, you're <laughs> I was just thinking. I just can't imagine you sitting there. I like all this for when you're yeah. very important when oh, they're all of course, taking you all over course. the place. Yeah. Yes, but they're good to you, Peggy. Oh, they? they are very good, yeah. Yes, and they'd yeah. they buy you anything, really, if you They want. would, yeah. But you just don't They want can't them. understand why I'm staying in the house that I'm in. Yes. And say, well, you're not really going to stay here, are you? Yeah. So I said, yes, this is where I want to stay. Yeah. You know, but they would, I think they'd like to get me over here to Ireland so they don't know what's going on. <laughs> 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 I think that's their game. They want to get rid of me. And can, are you still in a position to give them a clatter if they, if they misbehave? <laughs> uh, well, yes. Now, my, you can't tell them anymore. You can just advise them. Yes. You and know. do you? Oh, I do, yeah. yeah. If, I, if Liam is on the phone to me and I start yawning, he always says, you needn't bother yawning. <laughs> <laughs> he knows I'm getting annoyed then if I start yawning.